What's up guys, it's Tyson with Blevins Family Farm. I want to say a big welcome to all the new viewers. It seem to have gotten a lot of new viewers uh, here lately. Um, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go pick something up for the goats. So, I'm not going to tell you just yet. But, going to go to where I used to work. And uh, pick up some... Uh, a couple of things for the goats. So, anyways guys, let's go get it. All right, guys, so I got the new bell feeder unloaded here, and uh, I'm pretty impressed, which I already dealt with them. I sold, used to sell them when I worked for Stillwater Milling there in Davis, Oklahoma, and uh, this is an awesome product. I actually bought two. I only brought one here because I only need one here, or I only have room for one here, uh, and I'll use the other one once we finally get out to the new uh, farm. But I wanted to kind of show you all this. This is actually made here in Oklahoma, in Krebs, Oklahoma, by Discount Steel. They're called Tough Products, and they're made tough for re or called Tough Products for a reason. That's because these things are made all there. I mean, as you can tell, this is some heavy-duty pipe. It's a cradle, as you can see. It's made on skids, so from right here I can pull pull it with a four-wheeler or tractor or whatever I got at the time. I can pull this from here and it'll move a lot easier with these skids. This is what you call a bell cradle. What it mean, means by that is it cradles the hay. You have cradles from here, here, and just lets it set down. Um, this helps, especially with goats. They're able to pull from the sides out. Um, the only thing, I'm not real sure if I'm gonna add something to it. I th I'm thinking about adding something right down through the center right here. But I'm just gonna be a trial and error thing. This is gonna be here to stay. It's not painted or anything. They don't paint most of their products. But, um, the gates that i have out the new property if y'all <clears throat> gone back and watched um some of my old videos i show you i showed the gates and this company has made the gates i stand behind 100 percent they're an awesome company uh they're really just getting started they've only been around for about five or so years maybe that i know of just dealing with them but this is an awesome product i'm gonna leave a link to their website down below they are just in oklahoma but if you are from oklahoma and you're interested in different livestock uh, equipment gates uh continuous panels uh portable bulk bins bell feeders guys they got it and they do a really good job uh they did not this is not a paid for advertisement or anything this is just a product that I stand behind, I stand behind that company because they do great work. And I love companies that do great work. I'll always stand behind them. And uh, that's kind of all there is to it, really. As you can tell, I've kind of been waiting on the big hens over here. There. The big hens over here, waiting on them to go up in their roost. There's my little rooster. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? And sad news, on a side note, I did lose one of my chicks. We actually had a cold spell uh, this past week. And right the day before the cold spell got here, he was acting funny. And then by the end of the day, he was gone. So, or she was gone. But it's just what it is you have some you lose some oh and while i i'm thinking of what's here and what's not i gotta show y'all something all right guys if you notice this pin is empty all you new subscribers might not recognize what was in this pin curly was in this pin curly is no longer 
on Blevins Family Farm. I sold him. Uh, that's kind of a tough decision. I actually had a guy I used to work with, a friend of mine, he called me. He's actually bought a billy from us before and uh, un some bad circumstances happened to the billy. But anyways, uh, he needed a billy awfully bad this year. He called me and he's like, can you help me at all? I need to buy a billy. And after a little bit of thinking, I just sold him Curly. Y'all know that I said that Curly might not be here all that long, but it just is what it is. I still have the two younger Billies over there. They're getting bigger. Baker and Bucky, they are a couple of dandies. They're getting so big, but they'll be able to take care of all the girls next year. So not real concerned about it, but I did want to tell y'all that. If y'all got to ask him, where's Curly? Where's Curly? Curly has a new home. He's going to be happy there. He has a bunch of new girlfriends and stuff. So it is what it is, guys. Some goats will come and go here, especially the boys. You never know. But like I said, we got two boys, so I'm not real concerned about next year. Everybody, I'm hoping it's bred this year. I think Curly did the job pretty well, but we'll find out here at the end of January about who all's pregnant, because that's when they're all gonna start domino. On the end of January, beginning of February, everybody out there should start kidding. But anyways, well guys, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, I'm just kinda wanting to get on here, show you the new bell feeders that I bought that I'm really excited about and uh, kind of fill y'all in on Curly and all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, please do. I really, please, just subscribe to the channel. It's a fun channel. Just ask all of my subscribers. But anyways, don't forget, like this video and hit that notification bell and let you know every time that I post a video. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next video.